to go to a mountain to do some mountain climbing so I thought I'll take you guys along you putting on your shoe shoe <laughs> okay guys so I am trying to get used to using my digital camera normally I just use my phone cameras but I want to get used to actually carrying a camera around. Um, it's an older camera. It's a Sony, what, A6000. So it's not the best. But, I mean, the quality. Every time I start talking, she likes to talk. To me. Yeah, baby. I'm almost done, baby. She's probably like, who is she talking to? Okay, so we are about. Yeah, sweet girl. So we are about to go to a mountain. Just Grace and I, we're just going to walk around. I am on my fitness journey. Yeah, baby girl. Here, let me get her something real quick. To... I hate giving her my phone. Because I don't want her to be addicted to it. So give her my wallet and set. Okay. I'm currently restarting my fitness journey for the 50th time. <laughs> I am so tired of starting and then quitting. It's just really, really hard for me to be consistent when it comes to exercise. Like, I just want to build that habit of working out, whether that's going on walks or jogging or doing some at home exercise, whatever it may be. Like, I really want to get in that habit. That way, my body will crave it and I will get used to it. I'm getting older now. So, my body is definitely telling me that. It's time to get yourself together. Like, I'm tired of, you know, wearing the same clothes. And that's fine. Like, I recycle clothes. There's nothing wrong with that. Wearing the same clothes. Um, but it's like maybe five to six outfits that it, it's on repeat, rotation. And I have other clothes in my closet that just been sitting there for the past year or two. And I just can't, either I can fit them, but they just don't look flattering yet because my tummy or they're too tight so I really just want to lose another maybe 20 to 30 more pounds um, I lost 10 pounds since the beginning of this year which is great um, but I really want to lose about 20 to 30 more pounds um, because I'm starting to feel it in my body like my joints are hurting I know I'm getting older and that's expected but in my early 30s um, so I, I definitely want to just get back in shape. Uh, I have like pain in my knee Like I was going up the stairs last week and I feel like I pulled a muscle and my knee has been hurting for the past week So um, that's no fun <laughs> And then my lower back has been hurting ever since I had my daughter uh, Via c-section my lower back has just been hurting mainly like if I'm sitting down for too long it hurts So it's just little things like that. That's just like girl you got to get yourself together like I know it's because I'm carrying so much extra weight which my body is not used to I'm normally pretty fit I've been fit pretty much my whole life until I had my baby actually until COVID happened like the pandemic happened it started to add on some pounds so 
I want to get back to my regular weight from a couple year, a few years ago now <laughs> and I need to stop making excuses so here's the start of my fitness journey uh, we are going to start by going on this mountain walk Grace and I just trying to find different little trails and stuff around the Phoenix area so we can you know do our thing and then um, I want to get in the habit of working out at home so we have a garage now so I can utilize that by um, I got a jump rope not too long ago so I want to start jump roping um, and then I also got some weight so I really want to start using that so I figure I'll tell you guys this because I really want to hold myself accountable our anniversary is next month so I want to wear a dress like I want to look I want the dress to actually look good on me I want to feel good I want to look good and I don't feel like I've been looking the best lately <laughs> so um, I'm sharing it with you guys so you guys can hold me accountable check in if you can um, but I'll also check in with you guys to let you guys know how it's going yeah so let's get started on our journey So they gave me a trail or a map so I'm not sure if we're gonna be here for super long but here we go got my little sidekick and then a little snack and some water for us <laughs> Grace is so determined to use her voice, so she says hi to everybody. These cactus here are so tall, guys. It's so quiet and peaceful. This little social butterfly just went up to a complete stranger, and she tried to hug her. And I'm like, what in the world? Grace never goes to strangers. But she did today. So I'll explain more in the car. <laughs> Ooh. Horse poop. I think it's time for us to turn around. <laughs> this is what the inside of a cactus looks like. In case you guys never seen this before isn't that so crazy these cactus are so tall so in real life I my height is like right here and look how tall up it goes it's crazy but yes look at that Okay guys, so we just got back from mountain climbing and Grace wants to join. Why are you trying to join me? Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to tell you guys, so when we were there, Grace normally runs away from strangers or she's not keen to like go up to them. But today I let her out her stroller so she can walk around and explore. And she she says hi to everybody. It doesn't matter um, who you are. She'll say hi to you. But she still kind of like keeps her distance if you try to come close. Um, but today was different. Today, Grace ran up to this. Um, Grace ran up to this older lady. Just one moment. You done, baby? You done? Here. Here. Hold on. So Grace ran up to this older lady today uh, while we were doing our trail and she was like, hi. And then the lady was like, oh, hi. So she stopped running because she was jogging and uh, Grace ran up to her and went to her leg, like to hug her leg. And I'm like, what the Grace never does that. So then the lady asked me, she was like, is it okay if I pick her up? And I was like, oh. 
adorable but she seems so sweet so it's like okay it's fine so she picked her up and grace was just so attached to her i've never seen that before normally she's just attached to me and um she's starting to become more attached to michael now but she was so attached to this lady and she's like hi and the lady was like oh my gosh you made my day she started almost she almost started crying her eyes were uh watering up and it was red so it was just such a sweet moment and the lady was like um i'm a grandma my kids are all you know out of town in utah so i'm here by myself i'm a widow and she was just telling me a little bit more about herself um but it was just the cutest thing so she started you know grace had on like a snoopy shirt so she had a heart on her shirt so the lady was like look that's a heart and what's that is that a dog so the lady started like barking like woof 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 and grace mocked her and she started barking too and grace is like woof 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 and i was like what is happening like my child is barking like a dog she's going up to a stranger giving her a hug what is happening so i say all that to say like time is flying like she she'll be a year and a half next month um 18 months and it's just crazy how time is flying and how she's p starting to pick up on so many words and to see her bark like a dog when i be barking like a dog all the time at home trying to teach her different <laughs> sounds and things she never repeats after me she just laughs at me and thinks i'm so funny but she started doing it with the lady and i was like oh my gosh this is the sweetest thing so anyway um the lady was about to leave to continue her job but grace kept running to her and i was like okay grace come on come back but she would not stop so the lady kept stopping to come back to grace and then she's like if you don't mind can we exchange numbers i would love to go on a walk with you guys sometime um she lives 10 minutes away from the park so uh yeah we exchanged numbers <laughs> but then at the end she was talking about uh wow she heard, i told her her name and she's like wow her name's grace how fitting for such a kind spirit and then she um, quoted some bible verse and then um, she asked me, do I have family or community out here? And I was like, well, right now we're kind of like church hopping, trying to find the perfect church for us um, so we can start building community. So she told me she just built the big house not too far from here. And she would love for us to, you know, stop by or to come to her church. And I was like, oh, what church do you go to? And she said she goes to a Mormon church. So I was like, oh, I didn't know what to say. I was just like, oh, okay. And I was like, you know what? If I continue communicating with her, maybe I can share the true gospel with her one day. So that's on my, my to-do list. But for now, um, yeah, I think we just made a new friend. Thanks to Grace. <laughs> so that was such a sweet moment. I just thought I would share it with you guys. Anyways, I'm about to go in. Grace is so sleepy. I'm glad we left when we did because I wanted to go further, but um, she was starting to get a little antsy and um, it started raining. So it, well, it started raining soon as we packed up the car. So we made it right on time, but I'm about to go inside and make her some lunch so she can go to sleep and take a nap. But if you made it this far, Thank you so much for taking time out your day to join me on this vlog. I really appreciate you guys, all your love and support, and I will see you next time. Bye.